Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today in this video, I am here to bring you all the changes for the latest beta that was released on Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. I apologize, I'm late with this video. It was released on Friday. I wasn't going to make a video, but so many of you have said, Echo, can you please tell us what changed? I would also like to say guys, I know some of you are going to be disappointed because this isn't a 1.3 beta. This isn't the update aquatic beta. However, this should, and I repeat, should be the last beta until the 1.3 beta is released. So stay tuned. There's a couple important changes. I will leave the official change log down below because a lot has changed in terms of gameplay, features, redstone, commands, a lot of changes for Xbox and much more. So a couple of changes that I noticed is kind of like transition changes. So if I hit play, if I go to create, you guys can see it kind of slides now. Uh, I kind of do like that. I think it's actually a really, really cool feature. Now I want to go through the official changes and the bug fixes before we get into the official gameplay. So as you guys can see here, changes, friendly fire PVP can now be toggled from world options. Adjusted vertical look acceleration when using a controller. Added menu screen transitions, which can be toggled in settings, which is exactly what I showed you. Added search functionality to the marketplace to easily find specific content. Palleted chunks, this means we can now have almost infinite different types of blocks and also no more block IDs. It also means the game should be less likely to crash due to being out of memory. Now, I don't really know if that is linked to like uh, add-on creators or anything at all. I really don't know if anything specific was introduced in this beta for add-on creators, but we do know a new API will be coming very, very soon. So apparently in settings, you can turn off this transition thing. I actually like it. I think it's a really, really, really cool thing. Now, something else I have noticed, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Mojang and Microsoft, for listening to the feedback. They've listed, like, the main important ones right here. So, for example, I think Hide Hand was up here or Hide HUD was down there. They've added them all in the same location because it was really, really annoying. So, we've got full screen Hide Hand. Hide Paper Doll, Hide HUD, etc. First person, I know, we really want to get this on the main menu. Hopefully that will be possible in the future. Um, where is the transition thing? It will be in here somewhere. If anybody can locate it, let me know. There's a couple other changes, I believe. Okay, what can I put this to? I can put this to 80 chunks on Windows 10 version. I'm going through this on Windows 10 because it's just a lot easier for me to make these videos. Um, but I kind of like the transition changes, so I'm going to be enabling it. So if we go to Store... They did add a search bar, which is right here, which I think is a pretty important thing because, well, this version is getting more and more content. Every single update, they are adding more amazing things. And I've just noticed an ice dragon there. That looks pretty cool. So maybe you're looking for, let's say, if we type in texture, I don't know if anything specific is going to come up. No. Oh, it does. So anything that's linked to texture will come up inside of here. Maybe we were looking for... Let's try adventure. Maybe something else would come for this. Maybe the adventure time pack might show. Yes, is it in here? Yes, adventure time mash, uh, masher pack. So that's pretty cool. I do like that search option. Now, before we go into the gameplay, I wanna show you the official bug fix list. There are some huge changes within this update. So as you guys can see, I'm just scrolling through all the bug fixes. I'll let you guys go and check out the official bug licks list in description down below. Go and check out if the bugs you reported is in there. Go and check out the changes. And more importantly, if you notice a bug that's still in the game and it hasn't been fixed, make sure you report it at bugs.mojang.com. I kind of pulled out a couple of key changes within that bug fix list. So I'll go over them now. They increased the speed of crop growth and grass spreading. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when a sheep eats a grass, it takes like half an hour to an hour to come back, which means by the time you want to shave your sheep again, you can't because, of course, there is no grass for it to eat. Players no longer float above beds while sleeping. And guys, lo and behold, vines no longer just sit in midair. Vines can finally decay from dark oak trees, normal oak trees, jungle trees to be specific. That has finally been fixed. Something else very important as well is they increased the spawn rate of Ozlots. Now, that's a funny one because I kind of reported this and they were like, nope, 
Ozlots are spawning fine. They weren't spawning fine, and I knew they weren't. So Ozlots spawn rate has been increased. And something else I noticed, which has been in this version of Minecraft for a very long time, spiders no longer give up so easily when attacking. Spiders just, they just weren't interested in fighting anybody at all. So let's go play. Let's go to this specific world, which I just kind of created as a test here. This is all just a test. I just like to go through the changes, not only for you guys, but also to keep me all updated with what has happened. Something I've really noticed though, guys, if I hit exit, watch my uh, skin. Watch the way it starts all the way down here and pops up. So you can see here, it starts really small and pops up. I kind of like that change. It's so cool. And like I said, specifically with the settings, if we go into video, bam, 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 we can go back resume game, and you've turned off everything that you kind of needed to. I use this a lot for thumbnails. Oh, look, it's a baby one. Oh, and as you guys can see, look how fast it grew back. There's a prime example. I mean, that might be a little bit too fast, but I mean, at least it grows back a lot faster. There's a prime example for you now. So settings, video, bam, 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 straight away, absolutely perfect. And I think that's what it is, guys, screen animation. So if I turn this off, yeah, my guy doesn't pop up anymore. I don't know if this makes any difference to gameplay, if it's better to have it on or off, but I kind of really do like the changes. Sometimes it's small changes that do make a big difference. So let's go through some of the changes that I'm aware of, that I know of. Um, and that one of them is to actually do with sugarcane. Um, it's really, really weird. It's really, really basic, but it's kind of like biome specific. So here's a prime example. The biome we're in right now is technically not classed as a swamp. Because you guys know that swamp water is murky, it's ugly, and if you guys don't know, you literally can't see anything at all. Which, they need to do some changes for that, because it's really hard. Uh, but something else, guys, if you look here, look how light the sugarcane is. So for non-swamp biome related biomes, the sugarcane is going to be really light. But if you go to a swamp biome, you're going to notice that the sugarcane is kind of dark. Now, this is just a very, very basic change. It's just a biome-specific kind of thing. Again, it's just like um, swamps. They have jungle, sorry, oak trees that just have more oak leaves, which is why a lot of people in UHC like to come here because they can get a lot of apples. It's just something biome-specific like that. So, as you guys can see there, that is dark sugarcane. And over here, this is light sugarcane. All right, so something that's really been important to the PC players over the, the last couple of years is to do with stairs. Now, for years, let's just grab ourselves stairs. For years within Minecraft, the stair was kind of classed as a half block, not so much as a full block. They just decided it wasn't a full block, which kind of changed later on. In I can't entirely remember what version it was, but if I place this down here, this down here, this here, let's just break these, uh, this, I'm gonna do one more, right there. You couldn't place anything on the block at all. On the back, nothing could be placed at all. They have changed this where you can place a couple of things. Things like, let's grab it, we'll grab fences. Fences can now be connected to them. We also have iron bars, they can also be connected. We also have glass panes, they can be connected. And I do not know if this is a thing, but I'm gonna try this. Torches. I'm gonna try redstone torches, and I'm also gonna try normal torches, because I know some of you guys are redstone users. So, for example, they now connect. It, it might seem like not a big deal, but it was a really, really big deal for map makers and creators. That's the same for, for iron bars. It's the same for paints, all kinds of paints, all kinds of fences. This one, no, and this one, no. A little bit disappointed in that, actually. I do, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure on the PC version, you can connect torches. But as you guys can see there, when you're hovering over it, the black box classes it as a full block. I'm slightly disappointed in that. Maybe if we do it this way. Hold on. What happens if we do it the other way around? Let's try this. No, I can't. What about fences, glass panes? Yeah, we can still do that. So there's the confirmation that you cannot do redstone torches or normal torches. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's a PC feature as to where you can do that. At least I tried it for all of you. So a couple of other changes. Let's do forward slash clear here. There we go. Let's grab ourselves three new items that I know did change. One was the furnace. This is all to do with sounds. One is to do with uh, brewing stands. And one is also to do with end chests. Apparently the sounds have changed to kind of be in par with the PC version. So I don't know if you guys noticed a change, but apparently the sound has changed. 
I'm guessing we need to grab ourselves some, hold on, let's just grab ourselves some blaze powder here. Blaze powder. We'll grab ourselves a blaze rod and we'll grab ourselves a potion, a water bottle. Let's just try this water bottle. Just want to see if this makes any difference. I think I can't put it in there, can I? Ah, oh, I need, hold on. We need a nether wart. I just want, I think it makes like a guzzling sound. It's kind of like a bubble effect, kind of like something's been boiled, you know, in the kettle boils. I guess it's something like that. Slight change. Again, sometimes the small changes make a big difference. Let's grab ourselves some coal and let's grab ourselves some raw. We'll just go with raw chicken as an example. So put this inside of here. I think it makes like a, a crackling sound. I really don't notice much difference with the furnace, but again, that's what apparently did change. One more thing I do want to show you guys is, sorry, two more things. I want to grab myself a creeper. They made some important changes to creepers because creeper explosions were far too big. Something else I also want to check is I want to grab myself some gold. I want to grab myself an apple because I believe this has been officially removed now. Let's go to crafting table. I tried it in the last, the latest version of Minecraft, which we do have access to, and it still worked. So I'm gonna change my game mode, forward slash game mode S. I gotta try this guys and see if it, it, it does have any difference. And you can no longer craft them. They are officially gone. The God Apple has officially gone in this version. It wasn't in the last version. So there we go guys, there's the confirmation, which is kind of sad because I kind of do like the God Apple. Um, at the same time, I gotta be really careful here. So, creeper explosions have been reduced. Uh, it's still a big hole. I don't know if you guys have also noticed as well, in this version, creepers will no longer walk when they're currently in ignition mode. So, ignition mode is when they're starting to turn white. So, as soon as this guy starts to turn white, he's gonna stop on the spot. He will no longer come after me. See what I mean? He will still explode. As you guys can see, that is a prime example. That is such an important thing. The explosions are still pretty big, but they're just key things that I pointed out. Again, I don't use redstone, so I'm not going over the redstone changes because I'm not a redstoner. I checked out the controller one, so if you're an Xbox user, it just makes the user face interface things a lot easier for me. So my favorite things within this, guys, is the transitions. I absolutely love the transitions, and also I think the, the search bar is a really, really important thing. Let's just type in, see, what, see, type, if we type in diamond, what comes up? Nothing comes up for diamond. Let's type in a uh, skin pack. So if you're specifically looking for a skin pack, you're gonna find it. So I've been Echo Guys, keeping you all updated. Like I said, this should, and I repeat, should be the last beta until the 1.3 aquatic update. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.